plumbers. Mostly what I've done in my life. They perform dirty choreographed dances like this. It's my second nature. Every single day. And unless you're front row center to a leaky toilet like this. Yeah. You never really see it or truly understand just how important these heroes are. My grandfather was a plumber, my dad, all my uncles, my sons. Rusty Speak is a third generation plumber in Garland. And he, along with thousands of other plumbers in the state, have had a wild month. It's bizarre even to this day. It, it doesn't make sense. You see, before the state legislative session ended, lawmakers failed to fund and extend Texas's Board of Plumbing Examiners. It's been around since 1947 and is responsible for regulating and licensing the industry. But no board means no one is overseeing our plumbers. Oh, and a license would no longer be required to do stuff like this. So, by underfunding, Plumbers United in a collaborative uproar. It's not something that someone can just start doing and all of a sudden be a plumber. It's, it's something that takes years and years of, uh, of, of experience to, uh, to get this down. The plumbers will clean your drain, unclog your pipes, fix that drippy faucet, but they also install and fix natural gas, air or steam lines. And remember, that's not just residential, but commercial too. They also have to know strict drinking water regulations and safe waste disposal procedures. And I bet you didn't know this. Plumbers are also responsible for maintaining medical gas lines in hospitals, meaning they make sure anesthesia and oxygen flows the way it should. That's a specialty and requires extra training and recertifications every year. Sonny Friedman here is considered the godfather of plumbing in Dallas. He's owned Atlas Plumbing since 1967. When the plumbing board started to dissolve, he says you, the customer, stood to lose the most. Why? There would be no way to check if a plumber was licensed online. And there'll be no way that we know of at this time to be able to hire someone and know what he knows. Eunice Yee here is an attorney with a leaky toilet. And all this, as we were talking about it, didn't make sense to her. If I had a client that wanted to hire an attorney and then they found out that the attorney wasn't licensed, you know, they would absolutely find issues with that. And Governor Greg Abbott thought the same thing. With the industry up in the air, he extended the life of the board with an executive action for two years until the next legislative session. How important is that? Well, Abbott has only signed five executive orders since being elected in 2015. So for now, there's a patch on this leaky situation, but with no long-term solution in sight. I'm okay with temporary fixes, but I would love to know what the solution is, and no one said what that is yet. Families who have invested so much in this industry, and you, the customer, are heading into uncharted waters. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.